Just got a call from the CEO of Robo Canada. We have a case to solve. Let's get right. markets Robo Canada would be interested in is Kazakhstan, Pakistan and South Korea. Primary focus countries for the new hub would be on seven countries, uh, specifically China, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, India and Russia. The new hub would be supplied from Southern Europe and North Africa. From a geographical perspective, China seems to have an edge over other countries since it has a land border with both Kazakhstan and Pakistan, which in essence reduces the time required for transportation of goods. China is also the closest country of the potential seven to South Korea. India has a favorable geographical position as well, bordering Pakistan and at the same time being relatively close to Kazakhstan and suppliers from Southern Europe and North Africa. Not as practical for South Korea though. If the deciding factor would be only the geographical position of the country, we would already have indicated our first priority. However, there's more to that. To make our final decision, we must take into consideration a variety of risks, and to do that, we could use some help from Zurich Risk Room. Zurich Risk Room identifies a total of 20 risks in six different categories economic, business, political, environmental, social and technical. After analyzing all of these risks, we have concluded that half of them should be accepted and another half should be transferred or mitigated. For example, quality of labor risk can be mitigated by organizing on-site trainings, seminars and establishing employee exchange programs with other hubs. Risk efficacy of enforcing contracts can be mitigated by signing contracts with trusted and well-recommended suppliers and enforcing standards upon another's. This risk can also be transferred to another party by balancing contracts in favor of a company. Transport infrastructure risk can be also managed to waste. The risk can be mitigated by building roads in the vicinity of a plant, and because operation of the plant will bring economical benefit to the municipality it is built in, the risk can be transferred asking government to provide all the necessary infrastructure. Based on the data provided by Zurich Risk Room, we already have a list of countries that could be used for building a new manufacturing hub. Back in 2007, Canada, United Kingdom, in which the hubs are already built, had the top spots in terms of risk, while Malaysia, Thailand and Russia were the top three runner-ups. Uh, Last year, in 2014, the list slightly changed, as we can see that Malaysia took over the United Kingdom uh, for the second place, while Canada maintained its position. Uh, Thailand, Russia, China more or less uh, remained in the same place. And now it gets interesting. We've decided to adjust overall risk calculation process in three ways. Uh, first, uh, for simplicity, we've given a way to each uh, risk category according to the number of risks included, specifically the total weights attributed to each economic and social risks is 5%, while 40% of weight is attributed to a total of 8 business risks. Secondly, we've ranked each risk in its category and attributed a weight based on the rank. Simply put, the greater the risk, the larger the weight. For example, technical risk category, which weight is equal to 15% of the whole risk, is compiled of 7% electricity supply risk, ranked first, 5% is attributed to transport infrastructure risk, ranked second, and 3% of information infrastructure risk, ranked third in the category. Finally, a specific risk level was also adjusted if there is a way to mitigate or transfer the risk. For example, a 30% electricity supply risk reduction in China leads to risk level dropping from 0.53 to 0.37. After adjusting Zurich risk from data by assigning weights to specific risks and taking into account risk management techniques, we came up with a list. Apart from Canada, United Kingdom, Malaysia and Thailand, are the least risky countries. Interestingly, since the risks in China are more manageable than in Russia, the country has moved down. Other countries are relatively similar in terms of their risk level. 
This is not the end though, we still need some clarification to make a final decision. When deciding upon the best country suited for the next hub, we took into account not only risk provided in the Zurich risk room, but also cultural, administrative, geographical and economical differences of Canada and the selected countries. The greater distance between the countries provided in the gauge model could indicate that Canadian company can have difficulties operating in the selected country. After analyzing data, it is clearly seen that the smallest cultural, administrative and economic distance is between Canada and Malaysia, while the smallest geographical distance is between Canada and China. So, do you know the answer? I know the answer. On the count of three? On the count of three. One, two, three, Malaysia!